In this short tips and tricks video we're going to look at how we can model turned shapes using the two rail sweep option and in particular we're going to look at how we can use the scale cross sections with width to create these turned shapes. So let's start by looking at how we'd model a shape like this bottle that we've got here. So let's just go into a new session and the first thing that I need to do is draw my vector rails. Now the rails are going to represent the shape of the bottle. Now as it's a bottle and it's quite a symmetrical shape I only need to draw one side of the bottle and then I could look at using mirroring options to create the other side afterwards. So to draw the one side of the bottle I'm going to use the polyline tool. So let's start at the top. So I'm going to draw the neck of the bottle here and I'm going to create that uh, shape that comes out and then it will bring that down. Let's just right mouse click to come out of the polyline tool and I just like to edit the shape of this vector just to make it a little bit more smooth. So with that selected let's go into node edit mode and on this span here I'm going to right click and use the option to bezier and just pull out this control handle and align it with this node and pull down this control handle and align it with that node and I may want to just bring this node down a little pull that handle up a little bit more just to give it more of a rounded shape. So there I have the one side of my bottle. Now I can take that vector and then we could use this option here to mirror selected objects. I'd like to create a mirrored copy. I'd like to flip that about the center and flip that horizontally. So we're going to use the flip horizontal option and then I could go ahead press close. I've got one vector that represents one rail and another vector that represents another rail there. All I need to do now is create a cross section. Now we know that bottles uh, are rounded so I just need to draw a half circle. So to do that I'm just going to draw a circle, close that down, go into node edit mode by pressing N on the keyboard. I'm going to right click and delete that span, right click and delete that span and there is my open vector which will act as my cross section which will run between the two rails to create my bottle shape. So let's go and create that bottle shape using the two rail sweep. So if we go into the modeling tab, and I'm just going to use this option to tile our windows so you can see the 2D and the 3D view, and then go into the two rail sweep option. So first thing we need to do is select our rails. I'm going to select one, shift and select the other, and then say use selection, and they've now been transformed to drive rails. Now all I need to do is apply my cross section, which is this half circle here. And if we go ahead and press apply, so you can see that we've got our bottle. It's not really how I wanted that to look. We have quite a flat shape in there. And that's due to the fact that in the two rail sweep form, I have this option, scale cross sections with width unchecked. And so what that does, it takes the cross section and it will maintain the height of that cross section throughout the length of the two rails. And so if I run the cursor along the centre of this bottle, we can see at the bottom the Z value in there, it will remain around 0.174 all throughout that bottle. And that's because we're maintaining the height of that. Now if I go in and check scale cross sections with width, what that will do, it will essentially do as it says, it will scale the cross section with the width between the two rails. So where the two rails are further apart, we're going to get more height, and where they're closer together, we're going to get less height. So let's try that. So we'll take that cross section, press apply, and you can see how that works. So as I said, with the width further apart, we're getting more Z depth in there, so we've got more height, and where they're closer together, we've got less height, so it scales out nicely between the two rails. And this is good for turn shapes. It's also good for working with things like natural shapes. So that's the bottle example. Let's take a look at another example. So I switch off that component, go into my layers tab, bring up the pepper mill vectors. You can see I've got two vectors that represent the silhouette of a pepper mill. So let's select both of those, go into the modeling tab, we'll use a two rail sweep option, say use selection, you can see I've got a round profile here, and I've got scale cross sections with width, if I press apply, you can see that we can create some really cool, interesting shapes just by using two vectors and a cross section with the option to scale cross sections with width. 
and that completes this short tips and tricks video on how to model turned shapes. Thank you for watching.